wanted to demonstrate how photos can be animated using GIMP and Nero. So what better way to do this than by using a 600 year old painting of the Mona Lisa. Hello and welcome to the final part of this tutorial on Nero Platinum 17 and GIMP 2. We have made an image of a stage with a curtain. We have made a video of a painting that appears to talk. Today we're going to put them together. So I need to left click on the icon for Nero Platinum 17. I need to left click on Nero video. I need to come down to where it says make advanced movie and left click. And I'm going to come up to the top right hand side where it says import file. I'm going to left click. I'm going to left click on import file. I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard and select the three images that we're working with. And I'm going to click open. Two of them are pictures, one is a video. I'm in pictures, so these are the two images we've just imported. I'm left clicking, dragging those two images into video timeline two. I'll scale that up so it's easier to see. I'm just going to left click to just select the image of the stage. I'm going to left click and push up on that image so that it opens up a new timeline video timeline 3. I'm going to left click and push that image to the beginning of the timeline. And notice that the scale is wrong so I'm going to get hold of the edge of the stage, left click and hold and drag that to fit. I'm going to click on the curtain. I'm going to then do the same left click and drag the curtain to fit. Now what I need to do is come up to where it says videos. I'm going to left click, I'm going to left click on the video and I'm bringing that into video timeline one. And I'm going to bring it in at about seven seconds. And what I need to do is bring the stage across that video. So I'm going to click on the curtain and drag it along. I'm going to click on the stage and drag that along. And now I can't see the video. So what I need to do is move that curtain up. So I have to highlight the curtain. I need to go to effects palette, left click. I'm coming up to where it says position. I'm left clicking. I'm going to left click on use keyframes. I'm going to choose how I make that curtain move with that symbol. And then I'm going to get hold of that curtain, left click and push it up out of the way. Now that will mean that the curtain will be down at the beginning. And it will be fully up there where this image starts to talk. So I want you to demo. But in front of that, we've got a blank screen and I want something in that uh, area. So I need to take a snapshot but I also need to scale this image to fit the stage. So I need to do that first. So I'm going to highlight the video and I'm going to use this effects palette over here uh, to scale. If I click on scale that image of the painting to be smaller. Now notice it's on 50. So if I click and change that to 30, I'll make it smaller and I can position that image where I want it to be, which is about there. That's fine. Now I can take an image, but I want to have no stage around that image. So I'm going to left click, drag this image along and I'm going to move the timeline along 
to the beginning of that video and now I'm going to take a still shot so I come across to here where it says snapshot and I left click and I have the snapshot in the picture library here so I'm going to drag that snapshot in and I can now bring this video back to the seven second point where that little mark is that was the mark that we had the stage fully lifted on so what I need to do now is scale that, that snapshot to the beginning of the video so that when the curtain goes up there is something behind the curtain and then when the video starts to play and talk to us everything works wonderfully so I need that at the end of the video as well when the curtain comes down so if I put the timeline on the snapshot and right click and I come up to where it says copy and left click then I move that timeline to the end of this video and then I right click and then left click on paste I have the same image at the end playing for the same length of time about seven seconds now that will allow me to rescale this stage to the right length so I'm going to get hold of the stage or the curtain as it is and then get hold of the stage and drag it along so that they all play for exactly the same length of time and let go and then we have the curtain coming down because obviously from that point there to here the curtain will shut so I need to get hold of I need to highlight the curtain get hold of the curtain because I've already got a setting on that to give me a point uh, which it has given me there so from there to that point there at the end the curtain will drop and if I click to play the curtain starts to come down and that's the effect that we were wanting so if I just quickly show you that if I something is slightly wrong here I need to get hold of the end of this image it somehow moved along I don't know when it did that it's done it when I wasn't watching and now if I click to play the image of the stage is there curtain going up I wanted to demonstrate how photos can be animated using GIMP and Nero so what better way to do this than by using a 600 year old painting of the Mona Lisa and then the curtain comes down and we have the illusion but we want something more we need some sound so I need to come up here where it says audio and I'm going to click and I'm going to select something from this library and these are Nero soundtracks that I can use without um, infringing any copyright legislation and I'm going to choose aeroplane I'm going to left click on aeroplane and I'm going to drag that into the music line it says music there so I'm going to let go of that and aeroplane didn't stay there for some reason I'm going to left click I'm going to drag that into the music timeline let go this time it has and because it's a Nero product it actually cut itself at the right length and it will fade out automatically if you were using a record if you'd imported a uh, soundtrack you would ha have to cut it and then you could fade it out yourself and um, there's several ways that you can fade it out I'll show you one of the ways that you can do it today you can come across to the very left hand side of the screen and click on that symbol and you will find that you'll be able to see the music now we know that at that point here I drag that timeline along that's where the uh, video starts to talk and we have this music well, the music would be good at the beginning but at this point where the uh, painting starts to talk we would want that soundtrack to drop and so I can see that's where the first word is said by the lady and so if I click on the soundtrack 
if I just click on effects palette and I uh, mark a use key frames now if I click on the soundtrack I get a point and then I can move the timeline along a fraction I'll scale that up and if I move that along to there that's where the first word is being said and I want the soundtrack to drop at that point and I'm going to come to where it has the audio level which here is uh, on naught but if I get hold of that soundtrack and pull it down I can drag the sound volume down if you notice that's minus 15 or I can click on here and I could put a number in I could say 17 sorry <laughs> 17 um, and that would give me a very accurate way of moving the volume down and I could um, choose to make it move down smoothly or like I have there very quickly and I need to do the same at the other point of this video so I'm going to move along if I remember we're on minus 17 so at that point there I'm going to click on the uh, screen and I'm going to make this number zero and that will mean that the volume will be exactly the same as it was and I'm going to scale up a little bit and I can see that the soundtrack stops about there that was the last word and I want that next waypoint to be there and I want it to be minus 17 so if I push up a little bit we're on minus 6 if I click on here and I put in 17 what we have is a reduced volume but the sound will still be quietly playing in the background as our lady's talking and what will happen is this so I'm just going to go full screen and I'll click to play how photos can be animated using GIMP and Nero. So what better way to do this than by using a 600 year old painting of the Mona Lisa. And that's the final product. I hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching.